In this video, we'll see how to do additional practice problem number one from E10 using the TI-84 graphing calculator. So in this problem, you are told that you have a population where you believe the proportion of that population is 0.31. And you then are going to take random sample of size 153 and you want to know what the probability that the sample would be less than 0 0.33. So you really want to look at the distribution of sample proportions, right? the sampling distribution here. Now we've been doing stuff with sampling distributions for means, and it's very similar with proportions. Remember with the uh, distribution of sample means, the sampling distribution had the same mean as the population. Well, here, the mean of the sampling distribution is the population proportion. So that's your that's your uh, mean for your distribution. And then the standard deviation is actually the formula that's given in the critical thinking. And it deals with the population proportion and the sample size. Uh, you want to remember that we have the distribution of sample proportions is a normal distribution, so we can just use normdist to answer this. So it's really just like asking what are the what is the probability that an individual randomly drawn from a normal distribution is less than 0.33. So on the graphing calculator, we will do second vars to go to the distributions, and then we want normal CDF. And we want the probability being less than 0.33, so we go from negative 1e99 up to 0 0.33. And that's going to be everything less than 0 0.33. Now, our normal distribution is characterized by its mean and standard deviation. And again, this is the sampling distribution for sample proportions for a population with population proportion 0 0.31 and samples of size 153. So the mean of this sampling distribution is the population proportion 0 0.31 and the standard deviation is given by the formula square root of p times 1 minus p divided by n or the sample size. Where does this come from? You can check the, check the textbook or look at the critical thinking for this week to find out that. So that will give us our standard deviation. And then we just paste this in and hit Enter. And we want to round to four decimal places. So our answer would be 0 0.7036. And then we hit Submit. And it's correct. That's it.